It's quarter to eight on Monday morning. Thanks for joining us here on Breakfast today. And more horrific pictures coming out of Greece overnight as the country experiences its most extreme heat wave in 30 years. Wildfires have been burning for the last few days, but continuing to devastate the island of Avia. Yeah, um, these are some of the devast... I just coming up to a 10 to 8. Now, three years ago, 20-year-old Laura Nuttall was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. Since then, she's been receiving treatment in Germany and is continuing to defy doctors' expectations. And with Laura prescribing laughter as the best form of medicine, family friend and comedian Peter Kay stepped in. And this weekend, he returned to the stage for two sold-out charity gigs in her name to help her out. Yeah, we're joined in the studio now by Laura. It went really well. It was everyone was really supportive, and it was like it was an amazing crowd, but terrifying to do. <laughs> oh, but that's a lovely, a lovely thing to be able to do for your sister. Yeah, there's no one else I would have done it for. <laughs> oh. um, tell us. And so you you talk about laughter being the best medicine. How has that helped you? I mean, I've been, uh, when I was 18, I was told that I was going to live. <laughs> what a story you tell. Thank you. Uh, you can watch actually. You can go watch Max Max Whitlock outside if you want yeah. to. Because <laughs> yeah, forget uh, Pommel Horse in Tokyo. Uh, we have our very own. It's just out this morning, answering some of your questions. Sally's going to be putting some of them to them. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to know anything, uh, do email us bbcbreakfast at bbc.co.uk. Share your thoughts as well. Uh, tweet us using the hashtag BBC Breakfast. As ever, great to have you with us this morning. We're reflecting on all that golden glory from the Olympics, not letting it go just yet. Uh, golden glory at the Olympics, not so gold in the skies over the last... I mean, the excitement in the studio has just gone... <laughs> like this. We've got more medals. Uh, Sally's going to talk us about... Um, look, look who we've got here, Adam Peaty. More um, from Adam at nine o'clock. Um, also, let's talk about 13-year-old skateboarder Sky Brown. She became Team GB's youngest ever Olympic medalist when she scooped a bronze in Tokyo. And since then, apparently, not surprisingly, there's been a, a rather large increase in interest in skateboarding. So Nina has got... Nina, you're brilliant. Well That's done. That's great. Good for her. Good you, for her. In case you didn't notice, you're watching breakfast. Still to come <laughs> on the... We'll have that shortly and bring you the latest news and weather. But now the time is 8.27. And it's time to get the weather with Carol. So we've, so we've had Louise sat on the pommel horse. Yeah. We've had Nina. Thank you very oh, much indeed. You. I'm tempted. <laughs> um, now, uh, we'll be talking about the Olympics again. We've got uh, a couple of... Uh, Really fantastic gold medalists answering your questions at nine o'clock. Adam Peaty, Matt, Max Whitlock. Apparently, there. I think is he teaching him how to? Yeah, I think we've got they a pommel horse outside. outside. Apparently, Max is is threatening to tempt uh, to teach Adam how to do it. So maybe <laughs> we have a, an Olympic exchange. I love that. Um, so many things going on. Now, he may be best known for playing the hopeless but lovable EastEnders character. Is that fair? Ricky Butcher. But during his childhood, uh, Sid Owen endured his own drama, Loss and Heartache, away from the screen. We're going to get a chance to ask him if it's fair, aren't we? Because in his new memoir, the actor gives a raw account of his upbringing, his rise to fame. We're going to speak to him in a minute to Sid. But first, let's remind ourselves of some of his most iconic EastEnders moments. It's really good. Yeah. Louise is so after an invite round for dinner, I reckon. No, no, I might have done, but you yeah. know, with, with some, but you know, I, I, I love, and his really, really creative recipes as well, so I'll just have we to get a recipe. Fun, though, we had it? fun, yeah. we had fun. Lovely to see my rags to Ricky is available right now. I nearly said it, didn't I? <laughs> 8.56, let's check in with Carol, who's got it. It's been high excitement here today, hasn't it? 
It really has. Because it, we've got champions in the studio. We've got more than champions. We've got <laughs> mega champions. Because if you're missing the Olympics, don't worry. We've got, well, we've got the real thing close up back in the UK. Yeah, Adam Feasy and Max Whitlock have been with us. If anybody's missed any of it, thank you both so much for joining what a way to look back on two amazing weeks. Yeah, absolutely. That is it from us this morning. We will be back tomorrow at six. Thank you for watching and have a really lovely day. Bye.